Twice in a Blue Moon, written by Brian Fredburn McGregor, on Tuesday the 21st of June and Wednesday the 22nd of June 2022. Season 1, Episode 1, It's Not This Blue. Aye, aye, we're daft us two, we watch it, Max, on Saturday nights, and we could be living it up large instead. Exactly, Wilfred, I mean, we're limited in our approach with all that. Two second hand telescopes rescued from jungle seals. <laughs> I will, Wilfred, now, whilst I'm not being critical of the moon gaze movement, it's not known as being full of intense situations. <laughs> well, I, to be fair, it's been a while since I was jumping about, let alone because it's a clear, cloudless night sky, Max. <laughs> I mean, last week we were moon gazing over You always tell me Chris was on a dead general slug and a cold one in your shorts. Aye, aye, aye. I suppose I should take a moon gazing session much more seriously as well as folk could have talked and talked all about his bags. <laughs> oh, aye. Well, more than already, I'd be surprised if they could manage anything extra on the boat because there's not much that could be added. <laughs> Anyway, I'm a good gander, I said. Orbit and white rock sea, Wilfred, this Sunday, is looking refreshing, to say the least. Aye. Okay, Max, okay. Oh, no, it's different. Although it's been a while since a white dog was known as refreshing, I mean, it's the same moon, just different week. Aye, Wilfred, aye, Wilfred. There's been a whole lot of those last same weeks with the same moon, then, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Absolutely. Every single one of them that I can think of anyway. <laughs> no, but seriously, Wilfred. We have had some pretty heated, airy discussions, though, on that way going door. Aye, my aye. I wouldn't say something, I would say every time it's talked, it's heat. Mary and Will, call a discussion is kind of best. <laughs> I tell you, though. I need some shy as I've got the garden that, with my collection of blooming roses as they need much tending to go for GC. No, no, on the bus, listen lads. Two half dead flowers in a roll wicker basket and washed up counts neither as a collection nor a garden. <laughs> aye, 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 but you know, I'll go up to city life for a sounds well for, for the beach sounds and sea and what do I get? You come gumping all over my sea sounds all night. <laughs> well, you're not here either. Because you've got to fold up the lens, look, for your incessant foot and about man. And see, look, look, that, that is fold up. <sighs> you could see out of it anyway. Not with me standing at the other end in front of you. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 look, look. You can see the craters, Max. Ah, they look like night, Max, it seems. A little spit and bottles on the equipment. What? Wonders. Aye. Oh, aye. Spit and bottles has come a long way, Wilfred. As I had gone used to everything being blurry and well out of focus on a Saturday nights as well, aye. <laughs> aye, okay, Max, now. I might be going out to limb you, but I'm thinking aloud as well and saying. Those cans you were clearing up weren't polished, not am I right, Max? <laughs> I well, well, for, you know, the best part is I get to see all the stars all night long as well. When we're out here, that's the best part. Aye, you do that even when you don't bother looking through any of the telescopes as well, either, to see them, Wilford. <laughs> Aye, okay, okay, Max. <laughs> you know, of all my hobbies, are. This is probably my most favourite, I mean. Even you can't ruin it. Oh aye. So how about now, with me standing directly in front of the lens again, though? I mean, I'm surprised you don't find that annoying. <laughs> oh hey, you hit me a minute. Max, if I had known how effective that was, I'd be doing the same as you for ages. <laughs> oh aye, Wilford, what are you like now? This might take you a back, but you've already achieved annoying. 
years ago. I don't think it can be approved upon. No, I mean. <laughs> no, no, Wilford. I disagree. It's what I'm thinking, my natural raw talent. Well, it can be developed. I mean, who would have thought? <laughs> Aye, okay, Max. Although, genuinely, I'm shocked that you're still awake. Still looking through the telescope is normally a loose nor a greater part of the room now. Well, well, to be fair, Wilford, our discussion will. It helps out a lot more with my sleeping patterns than you would think, especially <laughs> I mean, it's strange how things work out sometimes. <laughs> oh, I know, that's fantastic, man. Well, if nothing else, two minutes in there, Moongate is in session, and you're already two minutes near being cogged out cold. That's brilliant. Aye, I know. It works for me, Wilfred. <laughs> oh, aye, brilliant. You won't want to know that. Moon is heavily waning tonight, then, Max. No, no, you're wrong. You can tell me all about that moon. Go on, as I was saying, we'll have to land it on much quicker, Wilfred. <laughs> aye, okay. <laughs> if anyone said to me, you take a moon gazing sessions, much too seriously, I would say that well off the mark. <laughs> no, no, Wilfred. I mean, I'm near wet my lips to get all about a tiny white circle, turned into a crescent, or not at 2am on a Sunday. <laughs> aye, aye, Max. It must be my definition. Perhaps it needs worded a little bit, just to keep you awake then, aye. Aye, <laughs> well, you do whatever you like, you keep up as I'm calling it, aye, me myself on this day, chill, well. I don't think that matters how it's working. I'm conking out of it. <laughs> aye, aye, Max. It's a good job. We're alone us two. Out here in the middle of nowhere, as there's nobody to complain about you. Oh, you might snore now. Aye, well, I won't come back. I will see you both in the morning. So, well, let me know about the moon gaze in a bit, in a bit aye. Or tell me when I'm asleep. <laughs> aye. Let's hope it rains when I finish, Max. <laughs> Max. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. That's superb, Max. The stars are superb, Max, and I. <laughs> the end in a Brian Fred Warren McGregor production on Tuesday the 21st and Wednesday the 22nd of June 2022.